Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having an awesome and wonderful day. Welcome back to another video. Today is our sixth video of our PPC series. We have come along a long way, which is I'm very happy. I hope you guys had a great, great benefit and help from this series. We get a lot of comment about our PPC uh, series and a lot of you are liking it so far. So I'm happy that I'm actually adding value to you and to your business. That's really brings joy to me. So thank you so much for tuning in at the same time for subscribing and all your comments that you have. So um, welcome back to another episode. If you're new to the channel, my name is Saad Basim and I'm an active Amazon seller and also help other people in their journey, in their Amazon FBA journey, which is very, very blessed to be able to be a part of your life and be a part of your journey, which is I'm very grateful and honored for it. So today we're going to talk about our, uh, in our PPC series, in our sixth video, we're going to talk about the different strategies that are out there to be able to set up your PPC campaigns correctly. So there's two of them are really, they're out there. And I just wanted to um, dedicate this video only for the first strategy. And hopefully the next video, we're going to talk about the next strategy, which is going to help you. And these are basically for the launch uh, stage. Um, if you want to launching your product, how to set them up and why you're setting it up this way and why people or other gurus or other people who really uh, use this strategy because of the concept that we were talking about, uh, which is the funnel concept, BBC funnel concept that I showed you with the funnel. And by understanding this, now we understand why we're doing this specific strategy. So this strategy is going to be about basically people that recommend that you create an automatic campaign and from the automatic campaign, um, you let it run for at least two weeks until you get all the data and then you can optimize them or you can be able to move them to exact match when you find a winning keywords or you can reiterate some of those keywords and try to find more keywords by, by putting them into a different match types uh, or manual campaigns that really uh, helps you a lot to filter the most out of it. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you um, what the strategy uh, uh, what it is and also we're going to set up one for our campaign that we set up last week we set up one automatic campaign so this week we're going to iterate and we're going to add more to it so you can follow me and you'll be able to set up yours the same way so i'm just going to um iterate a little bit on our um funnel uh, so this is guys the funnel as we said so the first strategy that people are using right now is by creating an automatic campaign and the purpose is behind it is basically I'm gonna let the automatic campaign run I'm gonna bid the bid that I want to bid usually you want to bid um, like a, a higher amount than the suggested so whatever the suggested is you want to go a little bit more uh, to be able to find more keyword because remember this concept where there's all keywords out there We put them in automatic campaign We're putting we're running automatic campaign to be able to get the most keywords out there to put them into our funnel So this is the first campaign you just run it to leave it is the easiest way is for sure the the pros you're gonna find the most keywords possible but and uh, by the same time the con is actually going to spend more money because at the top of the funnel usually is you're spending more money because you're trying to find a lot of good related and and unrelated keyword that might cause your spending to go as higher uh, and your a cost also to go higher so this is uh, how uh, you do it so in the automatic campaign we basically last week we talked about uh, or sorry the last video we're talking about is automatic campaign worth it Yes, 100%, do it, will be awesome. Now, uh, what I like to do, and some people like to do, is actually when they're running the strategy, they run the automatic campaign alongside with a broad match. So they will do the automatic and a broad match up together, which is, I believe, it's a really good system. And I think if you do it the right way, you'll be able to benefit the most. So I'm going to share with you how to do the broad match, which is now we're talking about manual campaigns. And so broad match, uh, phrase match exact match so broad match phrase match exact matches under the manual campaigns you'll find them there so let's head into my um let's head into my uh computer and let's see what's up so now that's the same thing you're going to go to advertising a campaign manager this is going to bring you here we're going to go to our portfolio we hit our portfolio that we created and then we see the last uh, campaign that we did which is automatic so if you're running this you just on automatic you're good to go but now we said we're gonna uh, we can, we're going to go to the next step or the next stage all right uh, which is we're gonna add a broad match 
campaigns and how we do that. So we're gonna go to create campaign. Once we create a campaign, uh, we're going to create another campaign. We're gonna hit sponsor products. Now I'm gonna take this one here, put my face here so you guys can see. So now we're going to talk about how to create a manual campaign and this is really important. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use the charcoal purifying bag. So charcoal purifying bag dash manual campaign then dash and then i'll put broad and then in parentheses if you want to do more because that's a launch stage stage you can put launch stage or you can put discovery campaign so now you know the purpose of this one is actually you're getting more keywords so discovery campaign so usually in discovery campaigns is going to be high a cost is going to spend a lot of money because you're just trying to find keywords. That's the cost of doing business and you need to do it. And I think it's really awesome. So you're having the main campaign, the automatic, which is gonna do its, its own job. Then you have the manual campaign. Now you can go very, very crazy in detail with the setting up those campaigns. Uh, you can use a lot of negative keywords and all this stuff, which is we'll talk about later. But for now, um, we're just doing a very simple thing. You can go really, really in depth and I can say, I am not uh, like high, very meticulous. I want to make sure everything is right. I want to make sure my PPC study everything. No, I am just, um, I can say medium to high level uh, campaign um, uh, PPC uh, guy, but I, it's not my wow like forte, but I know I know a lot of it. So that's very important that you put your own spin. That's why I'm giving you the data and the knowledge for you to be able to structure the one that fits you best. Because me, every time I meet someone or any client, it's going to be different setup. So let's get back now and let's say the broad match campaign. I come here, leave it at our portfolio. Then I come down, I put my budget. Now this budget depends on you, how much you wanna spend. Um, let's say you're putting 30 bucks, it's up to you, you can go higher. Uh, I usually go a little bit higher because I want to. I'm an impatient person and I want to get the results faster and all the keywords in a very short period of time. But if you want to be conservative, go a little bit lower. I mean, I go maybe 50, 100 bucks even, or 200, but depending on the market. So now I come to manual campaign. And if you see here, I'm just going to say charcoal purifying bag dash broad match. This is only good for organization, which is really good. Now you're gonna come here. Uh, I'm sorry, it's gonna be blurred everything. You select your product, then you're gonna come down. And now here for uh, launching, you can use whatever you want. You can use a dynamic bid uh, down only, or you can use up and down or fixed bid. Uh, I think start with down only. It's a very safe bet uh, and you will spend the least and you'll be able to let Amazon do most of the heavy lifting, uh, but if you really, really want to go um, uh, very hard, you can do fixed bids and just run it and you'll be good to go. Now, I keep going down. We're going to go to the keyword targeting, okay? Only keyword targeting, and I'm going to come here. If you have your listing optimized, it's going to give you all the suggested keyword. But I usually do not use a suggested keyword because I do my own uh, keyword research. And once I do it, I just come here and I enter the keyword I want. So you have the suggested, you have entered keywords or you can upload a file. So you can have a file, Excel file, you put the keyword and just upload them. I never do this one. I just come with enter keyword or suggested. These are the most common ones you're gonna use. So I use enter keyword. Now I use the match tab. Now we're setting up broad match. So as I was saying before, uh, the broad match is going to be the tip of the game here, automatic and broad. So it's more controlled than automatic, uh, but we'll find you the most keywords out there. So this is the second part. Now, if I come here and the broad match, I usually um, go and do my own research. We have a listing optimization service. If you guys wanna take advantage of it, go ahead and use it. We actually give you all the keywords that you wanna start with that's gonna help you um, uh, managing your campaigns correctly or having the keywords, the most related keyword, because when we set up your listing, we have all the keywords um, uh, optimized. So we give you also a list of that. So let's say I did my, uh, you did your own research and you have your keywords. I come here and let's talk about um, chakra air purifying bag. Now for broad match, how many keywords you need to put? A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, things are happening out there. A lot of ideas and opinions out there. 
How about 100, about 50, but I don't know, million and all this stuff, I think is overkill. Since we're doing a broad match campaign and the broad match campaign is doing the following. Okay, so the following is if I am doing charcoal bags, it's going to find me. If I put charcoal bags into the campaign, it's going to find me all the other related keywords or any search terms that the buyer will put up in Amazon search bar that has charcoal and bag in it or charcoal and bags in it. It's going to take the blur a plural and singular form of that search term. But usually you want to put five to 10 keywords. It's more than sufficient. I think it's enough, but you want to go over kill. You can go up to 20 20 if you have keywords that have low surge volume. But if you have high surge volume, I think you'll be able to iterate and find more keywords from a small pool of keywords like the one we do right here. So here we have 7,000, 3,000, 3,000. If you see the top 10 keywords actually have more than a thousand search volume, which is really good. So in this case, I can take the 10, but if I want it to be really, really crazy, I can analyze each keyword and see which keywords here that might not have in here. So for example, air purifying bag. And if I look at purifying, purifying is here, bag is here. So most likely I'm just going to take the first 10. Or if you want to go crazy and you're not sure, you can take the 20 if you want. Uh, but for now, we're going to take the 10. I think is more than enough. Take it, copy it. Now I come to my campaign, put them here and paste done okay now if i have them here i can use use a suggested bit if i want to add more keywords if i want it but uh, if you don't want just leave it as is now i keep going down you're going to come add keywords once you add them to your campaign now it's going to show you the suggested bid and what uh keyword uh how much i want to bid on each keyword so this is keyword in the master broad is going to give you a suggested bid and then you'll be able to um, uh, do what, uh, how much you want to put them at. Now, if you're launching a product, usually the suggested bid means nothing and is actually not accurate at all. And that's one of the things that you need to watch in the first few days to see how many impressions you're getting in your campaigns. Usually I would like, to, I like to go from 30 to 40% more than the suggested bid. So if the suggested bid is a dollar, I want to do a dollar 30 or dollar 40. Uh, because I want to be, uh, I want to spend more money because I'll find more keyword. So suggest a bit is not enough. Or if you want, which is uh, um, people say, hey, uh, you can go ahead and see the highest bid because the suggested bid is going to be like, hey, a dollar. Then the minimum bid ranges from fifty cents to a dollar fifty. So people say, hey, take the highest bid and add ten cents or whatever. Uh, for me. You can do that, but sometimes it becomes really crazy and you have keywords that are really the range. Uh, it's too deep and too wide between them. Sorry, too wide between them. 50 cents to $3. So you're putting $3.23. It just doesn't make sense. I like to do it gradually. So I do the suggested bid at 30% or 40% higher in launch stage. Or if you want to be conservative, you can start suggested bid and raise slowly if you want. But me, I like 30 to 40%. Have it. Put them all. Uh, uh, add 30 40 percent and then you come down and you will um, you will uh, just launch campaign you'll be good to go so I'm gonna take my face here a bit okay and you will see here there is the launch campaign you just launch it and good to go now if you wanted to go really a little bit advanced and you wanted to be a little bit smarter about it you can take all this keyword that we have already here all this keyword that we have here already which is here. I can take all these keywords that I have here. All right, and what I can do here, uh, and uh, you know what, I'm just gonna prove it. Uh, I need to add a product. Let's say I'm adding the product, sorry, it's gonna come. So if any mistake you do, is gonna correct you if any stage that you missed. Now, if I go back to Campaign Manager and I go to my portfolio, uh, my portfolio, and then I go down. Now you're gonna see that I have two campaigns. I have the manual campaign, which is running right now, which is we created the broad match, okay? And we also have the automatic. If you want it to be, um, hey, a little bit conserving money, you can go to the automatic campaign, okay? And that's a, a good tip for you guys. I hit the automatic campaign. I use negative keywords and add negative keywords and I can add the keyword that I added into my 
a broad match campaign. So like this, I'm telling the uh, the campaign, the camp automatic campaign, hey, uh, yeah, I know you're doing your job, I know you're doing everything, but you know what? I don't want you to run these keywords because I'm already running them on a broad match campaign. So here you can do a negative exact. So now the automatic campaign will never show you for these. Will work on everything. If this keyword shows up in search result, if someone types it, you're not going to show up for the automatic campaign, but you're going to show up into the broad match campaign instead. So now you're going to leave the broad match has more heavy lifting than the automatic. Now, if you want it to be here since automatic, you can do negative exact or negative broad. Now, uh, in the next video, I will be talking more about our next video or the videos are following. I'll talk more about the negative exact and negative broad. Uh, so a negative phrase and negative exact and why use them. A negative keyword is basically if you add the keyword, you're telling this campaign not to show you for this keyword anymore. Uh, if it's costing too much, you tell them, hey, I don't want to show me for error profiling bag because it's not good. Or hey, uh, gym bag, for example, showing up for gym bag. I'll say, hey, gym bag, do not show me for that. If anybody type gym bag, do not show me for it. And, uh, and, and that's it. So like this, you lower your spending and you manage your campaigns better. So this is here if you want it to be more fancy and you'll be able to add the negative keywords. And that's it. So now let me recap. We talked about the first strategy that ad people uses out there to uh, launch their products or uh, to, that they use uh, to make sure that they get the most related keywords out there, which is they usually use automatic campaign uh, or broad match campaign uh, by itself. Uh, but me, I think put them all both together, I think you will get very good results and you will be uh, good to go. Uh, now, if you want it uh, about the bids uh, between them, uh, for example, if you put this one, I mean, that's it. The bid's all the same. You can put budget the way you want. You can put more for the broad match than the automatic, whatever you want. I think you should put them the same for now, and then you can iterate as you go and as you uh, optimize your listing. So this is the first strategy of doing it. You wait a little bit more. You get the keywords, you optimize them, then you put them in a different funnel. If you had those keywords, you can put them into our funnel. So we have the automatic broad, maybe the keyword that you got back from these, you can put them in a phrase. And then from a phrase, you can put them into exact. And then with exact is going to be the winning one. And that's it. So this is why the final concept is very important. And I hope you guys really find a lot of value in this videos. And please, if you like what you see so far, please subscribe, share this video with other people, give us a like, L let us reach other people. Please help me to reach other people. I'm giving you the content that you really guys ask for. I hope it's helpful, but help me so I can reach more people so I can help. And hopefully we'll be able to reach as many people as we can and give them an honest, uh, transparent advice that really going to help them. Uh, to maximize the profit from Amazon and to get the most out of this business model. So thank you so much, guys, for, for tuning in. Uh, if you have any question, please leave it on the comment and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.